Hi, I'm Jay Johnson, founder of WindowPurchase.com, which is an interactive learning center for people to learn more about Windows. Presently 79 videos up, but over the next 30 to 60 days you'll find over 100 videos on that website, which is why I'm shooting new ones now. Anyway, here's your tip of the day. I'm going to keep this simple and short. When you get double hung windows, this is a double hung window for example, and the reason they're called double hungs is because the top goes up and down and the bottom goes up and down. But they also both tilt in for cleaning, which is the appeal to double hung windows. And I will tell you straight away that some brands go up and down and tilt in for cleaning a lot easier than others. Just, just because you think they're both going to do the same thing doesn't mean they do the same thing as easily. This just has to do with the proper way to tilt them in. You have to remember the bigger the window gets, the more the glass weight. And I'm tired of hearing about triple pane glass being this, that, and the other. Triple pane glass is awesome. It does have some limitations on sizes, but it has to be pretty darn big, like 25 square feet. So whether this is double pane or triple pane, here's how I would tilt this window in to be safe about it. Notice my hands are in both corners, and I'm lowering it from both corners. And I pull this down, I'm lowering it from both corners. This keeps the window from twisting out. When I put it back up, I'm going with both corners, and from going from both corners. This keeps it from possibly twisting or flipping out of the frame. Where a lot of clients get into problems with this is they kind of hot dog it. They tilt the window in, then they start to lower it with one hand, and I'm not going to bring it down to a 90 degree because I already know what's going to happen. But if you pull it down to about here, and you're only supporting it in one corner, this side, if I'm holding it on the right, this side could flip up and out, and unless I know how to put this sash back in, if it's still in one piece and the glass hasn't broke, you're not going to be able to put it back in. So you could go from center, which is fine, but you better make sure it's dead center. But you remember, there's a lot of sash weight to these when they get bigger, so you're always better off lowering them from the corners, lifting them from the corners, pushing it shut from the corners. That's the tip of the day. It's amazing how many clients don't know how to operate a double hung window or they get into trouble when they go to clean them for the first time and they don't understand the laws of physics or the simple principles that keep you from getting hurt or damaging the window. That's my tip of the day. Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.